Are you new to welding? Avoid these welding mistakes in construction so you can have a safe and seamless welding experience. Join us at MechMinds Hub. Let's dive in! Ensuring the success of your welding project requires meticulous preparation to avoid potential pitfalls. Inadequate preparation can lead to various issues such as lag, holes, cracks, distortion, or weak welds. To avoid these problems, you need to do three things. First, clean the metal surfaces by removing any dirt, oil, rust, or paint that could interfere with the welding process. Next, choose the right filler material by matching the type and grade of the filler material to the base metals you are welding. Last but not the least, set up your gear correctly, which involves following the manufacturer's instructions and adjusting the voltage, amperage, gas flow, wire feed, and other settings according to the welding method and material you are using. Welding can be very dangerous if you don't take safety precautions. You are exposed to high temperatures, sparks, smoke, radiation, electric shocks, and noise. These hazards can cause injuries like burns, eye damage, respiratory problems, or electrocution. To protect yourself, follow these safety rules. Firstly, wear the right gear includes safety glasses, gloves, boots, a helmet, a respirator, and fire-resistant clothes. Make sure they fit well and are in good condition. Secondly, work in a well-ventilated area by avoiding welding in enclosed spaces or near flammable materials. Have a fire extinguisher nearby and know how to use it. Finally, avoid contact with live wires or electrodes. Welding is a skill that requires a lot of practice to master. If you don't practice enough, you might end up with bad welds, slow work, or wasted material. You might also make more mistakes along the way. To improve your welding skills, you need to do four things. Practice regularly, learn from your errors, ask for help and advice, and experiment with different techniques. Filler metal is the material that you add to the weld pool to fill the gap between the base metals. But if you don't store and handle your filler metal properly, you can affect its quality, performance, and shelf life. You can end up with problems like moisture, rust, dirt, or damage. To prevent these problems, you need to store and handle your filler metal the right way. Keep your filler metal in a dry, cool, and clean place and keep it away from moisture heat or sunlight. Store your filler metal in its original packaging and clearly label it. Prior to usage, diligently inspect the filler metal, discarding any pieces that exhibit breakage or faults. One of the common mistakes that can ruin the welding project is using the wrong electrodes and wires. These are the materials that create the electric arc and the filler metal for your weld. If using the wrong ones, you might face a lot of problems such as excessive spatter, burn through, poor penetration, cracking, or weak joints. To avoid these issues, choose the right electrodes and wires for your welding task. There are several factors to consider such as the size, type, coating, and polarity of electrodes and wires. It should be compatible with the welding process, the base metal, and the desired outcome. Follow the manufacturer's instructions and the welding standards for the best results. Inspect the electrodes and wires regularly and replace them if they are damaged, dirty, or worn out. This will ensure a smooth and consistent welding performance. Another mistake that can affect your welding quality is using the wrong size gun. This is the tool that holds and feeds the electrode or wire for your welding process. If using a gun that is too big or too small for the job, you might encounter some difficulties, such as overheating, jamming, or poor welds. That's not what you want, right? So, to choose the right size gun, you need to consider your welding requirements, such as the current, the duty cycle, and the position. It is paramount to look at the power, length, width, and the angle of the gun and to make sure it suits your welding situation. Moreover, match your gun with appropriate electrode 
for wire size and type for optimal performance. And don't forget to maintain your gun regularly and keep it clean from any dirt, debris, or spatter that might interfere with your welding. Using the right welding technique is crucial for achieving a good weld. Welding techniques refer to the methods and skills you apply when controlling the arc and the weld pool. These include the speed, angle, direction, and distance of your welding tool. If you use the wrong techniques, it can end up with a bad weld that has defects like distortion, cracks, holes, or slag inclusion. These defects can compromise the strength, appearance, and durability of your weld. To prevent this, use the appropriate techniques for your welding process, your welding position, and your joint type. Adjust the settings on your welding equipment such as the voltage, amperage, gas flow, and wire feed to match your welding conditions. Avoid some common errors like weaving too much, applying too much pressure, or moving too fast or slow. By using the correct techniques and paying attention to your welding actions, you can improve the quality of your welds significantly. Inspecting and testing your weld is an important step that you should not skip. Why? This is because some weld defects are not visible to the naked eye and can affect the safety and reliability of your welded product. Neglecting this phase could lead to oversight necessitating the need to redo your work, incurring both time and financial costs. There are different methods of inspection and testing, depending on the type and level of information you need. Some methods are visual inspection, which involves looking at the weld's appearance and dimensions. Destructive testing, which involves breaking or cutting a sample of the weld to examine its properties and performance. And non-destructive testing, which involves using techniques like radiography, ultrasonic, or magnetic particle to detect any flaws or defects in the weld without damaging it. Check how your weld looks, measures, performs, and meets the requirements and document your findings and actions. And lastly, one of the most important things you can do as a welder is to learn from your mistakes. This is how you improve your skills and knowledge and become a better welder. If you ignore your mistakes, you might repeat them over and over again, wasting your time and resources. So, here's what you should do. Always be open to learning from your errors. Analyze what caused them, how they affected your weld, and what you can do to prevent them in the future. Don't be afraid to seek help from other welders or experts who have more experience and can offer you valuable feedback and guidance. They can help you avoid common pitfalls and teach you some tricks of the trade. Now that you're aware of welding mistakes, remember to apply these tips as you begin your welding journey. Did you find the video helpful? Subscribe to the MechMinds Hub channel and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching.